is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Zoo Quest. This is episode seven, I think. I think. <laughs> so we were just building our Silo Camp Aqua Pen, our temporary holding pen, of course. This won't be where our Silo Camp stays forever. But again, I love the ideas of keeping our animals that we do catch here where we can observe them and keep our eye on them, rehabilitate them if we need to. So that's what we were working on last time and we're gonna continue working on that today. Um, but I do want to get a bit of mining done. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff here on the aqua pen and then I'm gonna do a, a speed up of some mining. <laughs> I want to find that other diamond because I'm hoping we can get it to build the chisel and start building the boo because I feel like that is a long, long overdue, you guys. Okay. So I went ahead and I got us a few more pieces of stone cooked up in the furnace and I'm cooking some more right now. So let's go ahead, grab this. I'm sorry if you guys hear me sniffle. I got allergies. It's allergy season in Colorado right now. Okay, chisel stone, big tile. That's what we want. Okay. I think for this, we're just gonna kinda do like a corner into that side of the hill right there. And then this will be a really big pen. We could even potentially add other creatures in here so long as they get along and not hurt each other. We could have a whole holding area, maybe some dolphins. That'd be cool. I feel like coelacanth might be too big for dolphins to eat. So they should be safe. All right. There we go. I kinda wonder how far we wanna go out. Hmm. Probably just to where that kelp is and then we'll go over. So I'm gonna go ahead and kinda mark where we wanna go. Right. Oh, it's so dark. Right there. Oh, look! I got it in the right spot. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, I only have so many left. Oh, I feel like I need a flashing light warning with all that up and down out of the water. Oh, you guys! This is gonna be a great, great spot for our silo cam. All right, let's dig this out. Let me grab that. All right, let's see how much we've cooked up. Hopefully it's more than a few. Okay, good. <laughs> let's go ahead and make more big tile. Perfect. Oh, it's so good to get building underway. It feels like we're actually doing something rather than just running around scrambling for what to do next. Why do I hear? Oh, I just did that and I already forgot. There we go. And we don't have any of those on this side. Yeah, I like to make it look like the wall goes into the hill as opposed to it's just sitting on top of it. So that's why I dug those out and put the other uh, stone pieces in there. All right. Oh, there was something there. <laughs> Did I get it? Whatever it was? No? Okay, we're going over. Goodness, there's so much water diving in this. I might go ahead and just make this one tall like I did before. It is one tall, right? Yep. Oh, this is so great. Once we have this closed off, there's no reason why we couldn't just plop them right in the water. Let me go grab my other stone. Oh, I'm really hoping to get that diamond today though, guys. If I can make that chisel, just the whole world opens to us. We can make signs. We can make like custom furniture if we want, although I have a lot of great furniture mods, so it might be redundant to make our own furniture. Four. Well, we're getting a lot of kelp. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can make sushi out of it. I mean, they use seaweed, but... Oh, this is from the zoo in 
wild animals one. What can we do with it? We can make shark kibble. We can tame a shark. That's awesome and frightening all at the same time. I don't know if I want a shark just yet. Feeding that big boy. Woo! We would definitely need a, we would need a farm going. That's gonna be a little bit of trouble with taming some of the animals um, right away. We need a farm where we can get our meat from. And I can't remember if we talked about this before, but I am gonna do like a custom NPC that sells us the meat as opposed to us having to kill our own farm animals. But yeah, I feel like that's so far away, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep pushing. We're definitely gonna keep pushing. How's my girl? How's my girl? I kinda wanna light this fire. We don't really need it, but I think it's so pretty aesthetically. Aw, uh, are you gonna be a mean? Oh. <gasps> Yay! Oh, you guys, our campsite looks so good. It looks amazing. Oh, yes, okay, photo time. Boop. <laughs> okay. I like to take pictures. They're really good for the thumbnails, um, but I also like to keep our adventures all in one spot, you know? And sleep. <gasps> Another day. Okay, I'm right back to work. I could potentially speed this up where you wouldn't have to watch me do this and I could just go back and forth and like, maybe we will do that. <laughs> I could definitely speed this up. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so then by the time that you guys come back, hopefully they will, there will be a silo camp in a pit. And this will look a little better than it does right now. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, I'll see you guys in just a second, okay? Make sure you watch the time lapse because it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> be right back. Boop. guys we're just gonna place him down and see how he likes his new holding pen until we can get him a real exhibit uh, oh there he goes wow oh that was so successful oh I think it likes its pen okay I kind of want to see it go into the filtration area to see if we do have some suffocation issues. Can you kind of go test that out for me there, bub? Can you do that? Maybe? No? 
Oh, you are so pretty. Look at you. Wow, so we have our first... <laughs> We've got our first animal in our holding pen. What should we name our Celo camp? Uh, oh my gosh. So it's really spotted, which I adore. Uh, let's see. Where's our Dinopedia? Hold on. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go over to it. Come over here. Come here. Come here. I want to see what you are. Come, 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 come. Ah, uh, It tells us a bunch of information, but we don't have a gender or anything, and it doesn't apparently need to eat. <laughs> okay, well that's good. That means that we don't really need to feed it. It's just gonna hang out in the pen until we can get it a real exhibit. But you guys, we did it! Oh, now if we can just get that poor hermit crab out of its net, that would be great. Oh, hermit crab. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to hop down for a snooze, and then maybe we could go ahead and I could, like, dig a little pit for our hermit crab. <laughs> poor ding. I want to give it a better, like... This is amazing. This pen looks so good. So I would hate to stick our hermit crab in a little like dirt pit, you know? So we might wait until we can get him into something a little nicer just like this. Oh, but this looks so good. This looks so good. And it doesn't seem that there's any suffocation problems, which is oh, great. So great. We need a name, you guys. Okay, so your job in the comments put down some name suggestions for our CeeLo can. And if there aren't any, I guess I'll come up with one myself. But uh, hopefully you have some good ideas down there. So put any suggestions you have. What should we name our CeeLo can? It looks like he's pretty uh, dark, dark gray with some white spots and a blue eye. So give me some ideas. All right, well now that we've done that, Let's put our building blocks away. We don't need those anymore. I'm kind of hoping to go down into the mine a little bit and look for a diamond so that we can get our special chisel. Because we have one chisel, which is great, but the one that I'm talking about is this chisel. This chisel is really neat. It allows us to essentially just pull out like little blocks from our big block because it's like a 16 by 16 on the inside of one block and so we can we can make sculptures we could do statues we can make signs like I said before um what else can we do with it you can make like fake plants and stuff it's essentially just like painting with blocks is what this chisel allows you to do and it's so versatile and kind of just uh your creativity with this can just there's no, there's no limit. <laughs> there's no limit. All right, CeeLo Camp. Well, I hope you like your new home. We're going to leave you here and hopefully go look for some diamond and some food. I need food, you guys. Food is food. Oh, that's right. I got green apples in one of the last episodes. We need to plant that tree. Aw, I wouldn't mind having a tree on our little island over here. Oh, we're going to do that. Excuse my, my tangent, but this tangent must happen. Bone meal. Bone meal is not in there. I feel like every time I record these episodes, I have to relearn where I put everything. Because I'm doing, um, I'm still doing my own personal zoo. I actually restarted a world when I started this one. And I thought, I'm going to try and incorporate some of my ideas into my personal world and see if I don't want to use them in this series for, for you guys. Oh, there we go! That is so perfect, and it's green. It's green. Um, but I've actually been thinking about streaming uh, me playing in my own personal zoo, just to see what you guys think uh, about watching me stream. I'm really nervous about streaming, like really nervous. <laughs> but if that's something y'all wanna see, I could definitely try and stream my own personal zoo world and you could kind of get a peek at what I'm doing in there. I kind of am in a jungle biome and I'm building this raised up house because it's right on the ocean 
It looks really cool. I was kind of proud of it. It's not as cool as the one I'm hoping to build for this series, though. I want to keep this one pretty awesome. All right. Even though we have apples, we might have to take a pause from mining and building and go look for some food. Just to keep you warm there, Kiba. Okay, and then I was cooking up some of this. I feel like all I ever do is <laughs> organize. <laughs> I will tell you, if you play with as many mods as I do, or more, I've seen mod packs that go beyond 200 mods, which is crazy insane. <laughs> um, but if you ever do play with that many mods, keep yourself organized. <laughs> it will help so much. Even though organizing is boring, You'll be able to find everything. You won't be scrambling to get the things you need. We don't need gravel. Okay. And there we go. So we've got our sword. We've got this. We've got one little thing of water. We have apples. We don't need our chisel right now. We'll just pop that in here. Oh, and we are all set. Ooh, I am out of coal. Please tell me I have more coal. We might need to go on a coal run. <laughs> a food run and a coal run. Oh no, we are running out of items. Okay. Oh, food run went really fast. Look at this. These berries are amazing. I would love to make like a berry, uh, would it be called an orchard? <laughs> That's usually for trees. But a berry garden where it looks like the berries are growing up in these like trellises. And we can go in and we can pick. Like, these are huckleberries, but I know there's strawberries and there's blueberries. And we could have a whole garden with berries in the trellises. And then I want to, of course, Pam's. We're going to have a huge garden. That could be something while we do... While we... Da, 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 da. My words today are all scrambled, you guys. I think it's because I have so much going on up here. Like, need to mine. Need to build. Need to get food. <laughs> Anyways, I think... Let's make some signs. I wanna make some signs. And we could walk around our little island and kind of point out, okay, this is where I want the boo to be. This is where the garden's gonna be. This is where the cemetery is gonna be because we will inevitably lose animals. It does happen. I've played this enough on my own to know accidents happen. The animals get stuck in a wall and they suffocate for some reason and there's nothing you can do about it. They can't find the food bowl, so they starve themselves. Other animals somehow get in the exhibit and they don't get along. And so you lose your animal. <laughs> it happens. So usually I do this really beautiful, huge tree. Sometimes I'll go get the sacred oak tree that's in the biomes of plenty mod. And then either under the hill beneath the tree or underneath the tree, I do this really pretty, like, cemetery memorial area and that's where we remember any animals that are lost that is not a hint silo camp i beg of you to stay alive that pin is gorgeous <laughs> stay there i will make you a better exhibit but that pin is great okay so we have the mine here <clears throat> and i'm gonna be able to hopefully I want to explore for more trees, but I want to take some wood and just make like an archway right here and add like a little lantern that hangs down and maybe do some barrels on the outside that we can use for storage or they can simply be there for aesthetic. It doesn't matter. And then in here, I might pull this whole wall or wall, the whole floor out and put in cobblestone. And then we could uh, take the ceiling up just a little bit and add what looks like stalactites and stalagmites. If I had a silk touch pickaxe, we'd be able to actually take the stalagmites and stalactites. But I don't have that yet, so. So where do we want to build the boo? Hmm. I thought I talked about possibly putting it in between these hills over here where the deer are. I still need to cover you up. Iron. Ooh, you guys. We still need iron. We might go down there. We might go down there and have a little look-see. Okay. Where did all the animals go? 
Weren't there some deer here? Oh, there's still there's still deer. There's still deer. Aw, there she is. Okay. I love that there are deer on our island. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so it's a family. That's good. Yeah, I'm thinking here might be a really good place to build the boo. I thought about doing up on this hill, but it's kind of narrow. It's actually really narrow. So we could take that all in just a little bit and just plop it right in between these hills where it's kind of nestled inside. I love that idea. And then we could build a pathway that goes out and goes to the mine. We could do a bridge that goes across. I think our garden is gonna be on this side um, and maybe up here a little bit. So I think we've got plenty of space right here to do the boo. I think this is where we're gonna do the boo. So we'll, we're gonna plop a sign down. Ugh. Sight of, oh, og, of. <laughs> future zoo quest Ooh. <laughs> I can type you guys <laughs> boo done perfect site of future zoo quest boo alright it's kind of covered up by this so I'm gonna take this out perfect Oh, it's gonna look really good right here. And we could add some of our garden back this way. I could take some of that hill down and the garden could be back there. Oh, I love it. Ooh, cobweb. Oh, and then we could do a dock that comes out right here into this coral reef. It's so pretty. That is definitely where our boo is gonna be. It's too perfect. Too perfect. All right, I'm gonna grab some of these berries because you can't ever get too many berries. Ooh, maybe we can make fruit salad. Fruit salad sounds really good. Ooh, let's head back. I don't want any creepers to spawn. Eh. Run! Look at all of that has spread from here all the way up. Goodness, we're gonna have so many crops, you guys. And we haven't even started a garden. Oh, it's crazy. That's a weird shader effect right there. <laughs> Good night, Kiba. <sighs> okay. So really quick. Ooh, looks like we got a little more stone. That's good. We're gonna need more stone. We're gonna need it for our build um, of the boo because I use a really special stone foundation. So that'll be, that'll be really good. Okay, I'm gonna take a snack. A snack, thank you. Um, num, 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 num. Um, num, 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 Perfect. Okay. Oh, silly me. All right, and then the next thing I think we're gonna do, let's go ahead and pick out a spot to put the future cemetery and where we're going to kind of make the bulk of the garden. And then that will probably be this episode. Okay, I think I want the cemetery, which hopefully we'll never have to have any anything in it. Right, Celocan? Right. <laughs> I kind of want it to be over here because besides that peak right there this is the highest point besides that and I'm probably gonna shave that down anyway so with this being the highest point we could have the tree right here that goes whoop, all the way up and then this whole area if we don't go underground we could kind of make it above underneath the tree because there's plenty of space right here I do want to make sure we keep enough space for our garden though, because our garden, that might be enough space to do all the gardening, but I doubt it. Our garden will probably have to come across here too. We might separate it between like berries and crops and orchard, but I don't want to take up too much space for a cemetery that doesn't have anything to put in it yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. So 
and we're gonna call it memorial site. Future what? Future um, memorial. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> I'm a horrible speller. Pay attention in school. <laughs> Future memorial site. Done. Okay. And now we have one more sign. And I kind of want to, well, one side we're gonna actually have to put animals on. So we might have to like figure out how to get the garden just on this side. I might have to like spend a whole day and shave this island all the way down to the bottom to give us more space. Cause our garden probably needs to be over here so that our farm animals are on the other side. Oof. We'll figure it out. But I do think this should be the future side of the garden. I'm going to put the sign here because we'll probably just shave the hill down. So, future garden. Oh, hold on. That's going to annoy me. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Garden. Fight. Done. Perfect. Okay. So, garden into memorial site and then we need a bridge <laughs> to come across here so that I don't keep running across our silo camp uh, pen. Okay. Yeah. Like maybe a bridge right there <laughs> might work for us. Maybe I could do a stone bridge so that it kind of matches the silo camp pen. I could even do it over the silo camp pen, but we kind of want to see him, right? <laughs> oh, good! I saw him kind of swim into the filtration area, and it didn't seem to bother. It didn't seem to bother him at all. Okay, let me make a couple more signs. Oop. We'll do. Ooh, you know what? We'll do that, and then that. And then that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Perfect. Okay. All right, so this is the mine. Obviously we know it's the mine, but I'm gonna put a sign down anyway. Okay. Zoo quest mine. Done. Perfect. So hopefully we'll get into making that looking nicer very soon. And then in this area, we've got the boo right over there. We could put a pen right on top of the mine. That might be really funny. Like the cows could be over here. <laughs> or our chicken coop or something. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to shave this down too. These are such tall hills. I didn't really expect that. So I might have to spend a behind the scenes doing that, or I could do a time lapse if you prefer. We'll see what happens. But I could shave all of this down and then I could put more signs down that say, this is where the cow pen goes, and this is where the sheep pen goes, and this is where the chickens go, and this is where the pigoos go. I don't know if we need pigoos on the island. We can put pigoos in the farm exhibit when we get the farm down which is something I want to look for, is a place to actually start the zoo. Because this is just our headquarters where we build our own stuff and then we'll go on and find a spot to do the zoo and we'll just keep all of our supplies here. This will be where we hold the animals that we're trying to build exhibits for or to rehabilitate. If for any reason we find an animal that's really low on health, we could make like a health pin where we make medicine and then we give them medicine until they feel better. I think. I think this is gonna be great, you guys. Okay, so I am, um, I feel like we didn't get a whole bunch done in this episode, but we did get Coelocanth pen done. We got the Coelocanth in there. Don't forget to post your name suggestions in the comment section below. I think for the next episode, our biggest focus is going to be finding the diamond that we need to make the chisel. 
and then doing some exploration to get some of the woods we need. Um, or I might also go behind the scenes and sprout up some of our spruce trees because I know we need a lot of spruce trees. So I'll be working on that. And then next time too, I want to try and build a, something for the hermit crab. That poor hermit crab. <laughs> oh no. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and join our wonderful family here. Make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Make sure you poke it like you boop your floof. And then, um, I think that's it. Alright, I love you guys, and I will see you